Hello, Caymans. I'm Mr. Eicher. Welcome back to my classroom. Exciting times. This is part two of, it, of a video solving exponential functions with logarithms. So let's get started. Number 10. Oh my. Oh my. Number 10. Uh, number 10 has lots and lots of numbers. So we have the issue of solving and then we have the issue of typing it right in our calculator. Why number 10? Number 10 actually is something we're going to be looking at later. Number 10 is a uh, important formula in, I don't know, finance and business and banking. Um, this formula is saying, just to give you a little context, if you had $100 initially in a bank account and you had an interest rate of 5%, right? 5% as a decimal is 0.05. And it was compounded. You got paid your interest every uh, every month. There are 12 months in a year. How long would it take to end with $300? So how long? Notice the T there. How long? How many um, years would it take for your money to triple, basically, $100 to $300? So we'd like to um, show you that formula later in a later lesson, but we thought it would be helpful to start practicing how to solve it earlier um, before you actually have to you know, plug numbers into a formula. But let's get rid of those. So um, what we'd like to do is isolate. So number one, we'd like to isolate the base. The base is right here. Notice the exponent up here. So we'd like to isolate all this stuff. And to isolate that, we do have one, just one step, is to get rid of that 100 first. So let's divide both sides by 100. So divide by 100, divide by 100. And those hundreds divide out. And we're left with 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12 raised to the 12t equals 3. And now it's isolated, and like we were doing in the previous video, we're going to log both sides. We're going to log this side, log this side. And when we log both sides, the remember the exponent, 12t, that exponent is going to come down out in front of the log. So I'm going to write that 12t out in front times log of 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12 equals log and now we'd like to solve for t. There's t. So we're going to divide both sides by divide, divide. We're going to divide both sides by 12 to get rid of the 12. And we're going to divide both sides by that log 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12. Um, so the 12s are going to divide out. The log of this amount is going to divide with that. So we're left with t equals log base, or sorry, log 3. It's a common log. 12 times log 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12. Now the challenging part is typing that correctly in your calculator. I would recommend type the numerator, hit enter. And then use a parenthesis right here. And you should be able to type everything else as is. So you do log 3. So log 3, I got 0.477. So see if you can get that. And then I'm going to divide by parenthesis 12 times log 1 plus 0.05 divided by 12. And I get this answer. So if you got that answer, I'm very proud of you because that's a lot of typing numbers in. And the units here would be years. Now this wasn't a word problem, but when we get to it, we would say it would take 22 years for your money to go from $100 to $300 at a 5% interest rate. Uh, number 11 is for you. Number 11 is a little bit shorter than that one. But I do want to point out we've given you one to try on your own. This is $100,000, so you're starting with a lot of money. When will you have $250,000 if you have an 8% interest rate that you get paid once every 
uh, four times each year. So I'd encourage you, uh, if you'd like to pause the video now or rewind and watch the solution to this one again, the steps are going to be really similar as this one. Uh, but see if you could get that, and that's a try this question. Um, the last one I'd like to do uh, before our last topic is this one. Number 13. I had a little typo, so I had to scratch out the old number 13. I'd like to solve this one. So um, the issue here is you have a variable on both sides. This is very different than the ones we've solved up to this point. So you can't really isolate a base because you have a base on both sides with variables of p on both sides. So the way that we solve this, we're just going to start by logging both sides. So let's log 7 to the p plus 1, log 13 to the p. Uh, and then you might recall what we do is move the exponent down out in front. So that would be p plus 1 times log 7 equals p times log 13. There we go. And from there, let's move the p's to be on the left side of the equal sign and the log stuff to be on the right side. So that would look like p plus 1 over p equals log 13 over log 7. So again, what I did, I moved this p over there, I moved this log 7 over there. Uh, now probably what would be the easiest to do from there is to calculate what is log 13, enter, divided by log 7, enter. I get 1.3181 equals p plus 1 over p. Uh, and then this equation now, uh, you know, you still have a fraction and a decimal in there, but at least there's no more logs. So to solve for p, we'd have to multiply both sides by p. p plus 1 equals 1.3181p. And then subtract p from both sides, minus p minus p. So I would get 1 equals 1 point, oops, 0 0.3181p. And then finally, we can divide both sides by 3181. So 1 divided by 0 0.3181. And we get p is equal to 3.1437. And we can check our answer by plugging that into the original. Um, that's the most complicated type of uh, algebra that we would do in this section. So that's solving log. Uh, that's solving exponential equations. The last thing I'd like to talk about is a certain formula called the change of base formula. The change of base formula states that if you had log base a of n, we can change them to be common logs. So we can convert a non-common log into a common log with log n over log a. So we're asked to express each logarithm in terms of common logarithms. That's using the change of base formula. We're changing the base a to a base of 10. And then you use your calculator. So uh, in this formula, note that the base goes in the denominator with a log. And the uh, number next to the base goes into, oh, let me color code a little better. There we go. And then the number next to the base, the n part, that goes in the numerator. So when we write, or when we evaluate log base 5 of 20 on our calculator, we would have to do log of 20 in the numerator. That's the bigger number at the top. And then the base goes log in that base in the denominator. Uh, and then we can type that log 20, hit enter, and then divide by log 5 and we should get 1.8614, rounded to four decimal places. Uh, we can do the same thing here. Um, the way that I remember the change of base formula is um, this number in the bottom goes in the bottom. 
So you kind of have a log and a log with this formula. And you just have to figure out where's the 3 go, where's the 8 go. Well, the 3 is lower, and the 3 goes down here. And then the 8's bigger, higher, it goes up here. So we have log 8 divided by log 3. 1.89. To eight. Uh, and then here's one for you as a try this. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. Bye.